Hello guys. This is MKS Beats. Before I start I would like you to subscribe our channel, as creating and uploading videos takes time and effort. Subscribe our channel to get notified on our every new video. So let's start. Today we will see how we can use the most powerful effect, that can be used to achieve professional sounding mix. Today we will learn how to master the art of using reverb, to achieve depth, space, distance, feel and emotion to your music. It is so powerful tool for any producer, that you can mimic any spaces for any instrument, and can be used to achieve wide range of feel to the song. In fact the topic of reverb is so complex and deep, that it cannot be explained in a single video. Claiming to explain all the aspects of uses of reverb, in a short video is almost impossible. So we will cover this topic in parts. In this video I will explain everything about using reverb. For the sake of this video I will use native reverb VST of FL Studio. You can learn how to use the reverb, and can use the knowledge and principles to apply to any reverb VST. For this example I will use a vocal to explain the concept of reverb. But let's see what reverb actually is. Reverberation, in psychoacoustics and acoustics, is a persistence of sound, after the sound is produced. A reverb, is created when a sound or signal is reflected, causing a large number of reflections to build up, and then decay as the sound is absorbed by the surfaces of objects in the space, which could include furniture, people, and air. Now let's get back to our reverb. Let's learn what each parameter do and learn how we can use it. 1. Room size. Room size parameter is used to stimulate different reverb spaces. From small rooms to large hall, you can use this parameter to stimulate different reverb spaces. Larger sizes correlate to longer reverb times, and will push the instrument back into the mix. Use the larger room size, to give wider stereo image to the instrument. Smaller room sizes can be used, to bring the instrument more up front into the mix. Use this parameter together with other parameters, to give depth and distance to the instrument in the mix. 2. Early Reflection Parameter Early Reflection Parameter sets the level of the first group of echoes, that occurs when sound waves hit walls, ceilings, etc. Prominent early reflections, tend to work better with sustained sounds, such as vocals and pads, than percussive sounds. Balance the early reflections, so they are neither obvious discrete echoes, nor masked by the decay. मेरे पांव भी खुद मेरी बेड़ियां मुझसे मुझी को छुड़ा आंखें ये नम मेरी बातें चुभन तेरी Lowering the early reflections level also places the instrument further back in the room and more toward the middle. Three, pre-delay. Pre-delay parameter. Controls the delay time between the direct input signal and the first reverb reflection. It is used to set the amount of time, in which the first reflection of the sound will be heard, after it has bounced back from the wall. <laughs> Increase pre-delay to give the feeling of a bigger space, for example, 
large room sizes tend to work well with significant pre-delay. 4. Decay Time Decay Time Parameter determines the amount of time it takes for a reflection to decay. है मेरे पांव भी खुद मेरी बेड़ियां मुझसे मुझी को छुड़ा Use low decay times for small rooms and long decay times for large rooms. 5. Dampening parameter. Dampening parameter is used to adjust the rate at which the high frequencies decay. It used to make the instrument sound more warm and soft. If your reverb has an artificial sounding high end, add damping to create a warmer sound. Experiment with various dampening levels, to give different characteristics to the reverb. 6. High cut filter. High cut filter parameter, is used to reduce the high frequencies going into the reverb. If your reverb sounds metallic, reduce the highs starting at 4 to 8 kHz. 7. Low Cut Filter Low Cut Filter Parameter is used to reduce the low frequencies going into the reverb. For example, if you are adding reverb to a drum track, using the Low Cut Parameter will reduce the rumble and muddiness from the bass drum by attenuating the bass frequencies before being passed to the reverb engine. Use this parameter to remove unnecessary low end buildup due to use of reverb on different elements of the mix. 8. Diffusion Parameter Diffusion Parameter controls the density of the reflections bouncing off the walls of the virtual room. A low diffusion setting makes the reflections sound more distinct and sparse, like closely spaced echoes. A high diffusion setting creates a dense series of reflections. Experiment with different diffusion level to stimulate different spaces characteristic, and feel. For vocals and other sustained sounds, low level of diffusion can give smooth reverberation, that doesn't overpower the source and maintains the clarity. For instrument, like drums, use the higher value of diffusion. Nine. Wet Level Parameter Wet Level Parameter is used to determine the level of reverb that is being fed to the instrument. 10. Dry Level Parameter Dry Level Parameter is used to set the level of dry signal to be passed to output. Base Parameter Base Parameter adjusts the decay time of the bass frequencies in the reverberations. The bass level affects the overall mood, or sound of the virtual room. A bright room has less bass response, while warm rooms have a more bass response. 12. Crossover Crossover parameter, determines the point below which bass frequencies will be boosted by the bass knob. Pro tip. Always apply reverb while considering both, the whole context of the mix and solo aspect of the instrument. This not only will give you right perspective about the direction you are heading, and will also help you make right decision in the mix. I hope you learned something from this video. In upcoming videos, we will see different types of reverbs, and how you can use it to achieve different feel and emotion. Side note. Remember. Reverb is one of the most important effect. You can either use to make your mix sound professional, or can make the mix muddy. To make the reverb to achieve professional sounds takes critical listening. Always use a good pair of monitors, or headphones to make critical decisions in the mix. Use of low quality monitors, or headphones will not only frustrate your efforts, on making your mix sound good, but also can also waste your time. So always depend upon good quality hardware for monitoring the sound. So I hope you learned something from this video. Subscribe our channel for more videos on music production. Also don't forget to like and share this videos among your friends. I will see you all guys next time. Thank you.